ready? Uh, uh. What's up, guys? It's David coming at you from Organic Pride's Books with another quick review of uh, some uh, new releases that we got this week. As you can see, I'm looking pretty fly. It's cold here, so I got my nice jacket. And then look at this hat. Look at this hat. Zoom in on this. It's my tiger hat. I'm the tiger king. <laughs> Rare. Nerd. So, hey, hey, man. Just because you're jealous doesn't mean you have to take it out on me, man. Hey, listen. David is... David puts the fashion in fashionably late, which I'm, I am a lot. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Maybe not a, like, you can even count on, the, on his hand how many times he's been on time. <laughs> Stop, JP. I'm a very sensitive guy. Um, my self-esteem. All right, so we're going to be looking today at the uh, Mark Silvestri. Um, like, I guess it's the art of him, so this one is really cool. Uh, if you know who that is, he draws um, The Darkness, Blue Witchblade, and uh, Angel Girl over here. You'll, we'll look into that one as well, and then we'll also be looking into Something's Killing the Children, which we have the single issues of number one through five. So we'll look at those real quick, and then uh, did you want to talk about this? Sure. So we are getting more single issues. Uh, we're going to be, you know, getting a bunch of them pretty soon. So our our idea is to open up like a, uh, a mystery box subscription. So you guys can subscribe, and we just, you know, every single month we'll send you guys a bunch of single issues. That you guys can go over if you guys are interested in that let us know if there's any other mystery boxes that, that you think of like maybe an omnibus mystery box and stuff like that let us know so we're working on the details like that yeah and that's definitely something that we're interested in doing um we'll probably throw on some like bookmarks and stuff like that as well so yeah you know, let us know if you guys are interested in like the mystery boxes for singles and stuff like that because we do want to sell some singles but you know keeping track of all the singles that come out especially for every single person and like bookkeeping or accounting for every single one takes up a lot of time. So if we just do mystery boxes for singles, we can get whatever singles we want, send you guys a bunch of random stuff. And you know, you guys can see, like, um, check out titles that you probably sh wouldn't have in the first place. Yeah, yeah. And let us know, you know, if you comment, you also are eligible to win a $25 gift card as well as you subscribe. So uh, also just to let you know, as we've seen in a lot of videos, we do have our book stands available with our OPB branding on it. Oh, you down with OPB? Yeah, you know me. And uh, like, like I said, it's, it has a nice little different uh, options for you to, to, to stand it at viewing angles, as well as the book holder with protective, you know, plastic so you won't, you know, mess up your precious, precious co uh, graphic novels or comic books or any type of book that you want. So we have those available, so get yours while they are still here. And let's take a look at... Uh, you know what, let's do the, the reviews of the singles first, and then we will look at this nice boy here. So this is the uh, Something's Killing the Children, issue one through five, so let's take a look at through all of them. How do you know which one's the first one? Does it say? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> well, I don't know. Check yeah, okay. we'll, we'll check it. So as you can see, it's like a watercolor. Uh, the artwork is really nice. Like, I, I'm, it, it's really cool. I like the back, the white background uh -huh. so it makes the colors like really nice stand I out they are all version covers as well so there's no trade dress or anything on yeah the very nice cool. so as you can see um it's predominantly like the the lighter colors like fire like the the, the that um, will pop so that's really cool i like that and then all of them have that uh, the teeth on there yeah her bandana that's really cool <clears throat> like there's some nice words hidden in there somewhere I wonder what that means. <laughs> I wonder what it means. Let's take a look at the back. So it's... Yeah, the back tells you what... It, okay, yeah. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. So let's actually like look at it in order. We're going to go through them. Give me one second. Let me shuffle these. Yeah, so these are just the um, the single issues just with a different cover on there. Yeah. Um, there's no, no nothing like the content is not different inside. Yes. It's just um, a new cover. And that it, it, these are the same it, or the same story covered in the hard uh, the book we have, right? Yeah, the deluxe that we are we're selling on our website as well. We yeah. have that, and then the slipcase is getting reprinted, coming out in the summer of twenty twenty two. Yeah, uh, I actually have not read this book, which I, I uh, am disappointed in myself. You know, I'm still trying to catch up on a lot of readings, and uh, you know, uh, I'm still you know, guys, you know, get your education. I'm still in school. But I'm graduating soon, so I'm going to have so much free time for activities now, uh, including reading more comic books. And, and showing up on time. And showing up on time and playing games with JP on our computer, because we're nerds. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, yeah. So if hey, listen, you know what? Maybe we should do a Twitch and play video games with our fans. <laughs> that would be. That could be. You know, let's expand. Expand our base. You know. They're gonna be like, you guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why I play so that you can make fun of me. Uh, so yeah, it's actually really cool um, that we actually have this available because some people do like to get the single issues like this. You know. Uh, like for example, the Blackest Night. I have every single issue of Blackest Night that came out as they were coming out, and um, I used to collect them like that. I like the hardcover that we have available here, but I like mine because you know that's just. I, I took the time to collect everyone each week. I would go to the comic book store and I'm like, "Are they here yet?" And the guy's <laughs> like, "Stop! You came in yesterday. Please leave." And I'm like, "Okay." All right, so we're going to be looking at the artwork of Mark Silvestri. We got this. As you can see, it's a pretty big book. Uh, not too many pages, but it is uh, big, so you can see all of that. Let's take a look at the front, the spine, and the back. And let me undress this baby. Oi! Oi! Hoi! Stop it! No, you know you like it, girl. Hey! <laughs> the front is basically the same as the slip uh, or the dust cover, just in black background and white letters. I like it like this better. It, it actually looks, you yeah. know, pops. Cool. Yes, let's look at the spine. Let's look at that. That's nice. And the back. I was telling JP, uh, most artists will sign their artwork, especially for comics, and like, you'll see it. If you pay attention, you'll see where their, art, their signature is. I really like this. This is so cool because it's his last name, but he puts it in the box, and I think most of his artwork has that. So I find that really, really cool. I think I'm gonna just copy it. Uh, so don't let him know, because I don't want to get sued. I'm playing, I'm playing, guys. When David releases his own comic book, it's all it's gonna be about JP. He's gonna be my main character. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, as you can see uh, with him, he puts a lot of detail in his artwork. Uh, we have the table of contents here. So he goes through all the different uh, uh, different companies that he's worked with and then it does have a cool little special feature that I'll show you guys uh, So if you know which blade, you know that he basically defined how her art her costume and how she's drawn and uh, Especially with with talk top cow They kept him for a lot of their comic books because he was I mean he still is really good I, I his artwork when you see it like with the pencil. I'm like this is an insane amount of detail and uh, Not only is it very detailed, but it's also really really nice to look at her face is so pretty, like, wow. Like, just, you know, you know, it, it, she's a comic book character, of course, but I'm like, this is an attractive woman, you know? And then, of course, with, when they put the color, you can see, like, the shadow. But I actually think she looks prettier in just the pencil. Like, that's just me, guys, you know? that That's what floats my boat. Anyway, <laughs> uh, like, see? Very, very sexy, you know? I, I'm going to use that word. Exactly, yeah. So this is nice. Like I don't, I don't mind. Don't I mean I don't lie. I like the color too. But the something about the pencil drawing is so much more attractive to me. Uh, so let's take a look. Like, Yo, I'm feeling uh, any today. <laughs> Which one I'm thinking about today? <laughs> uh, as you can see, he uh, definitely likes to draw girls in a certain way, and and you know what? I do not mind. So what is this from? Is uh, let's take a look. Oh. This is from the Witchblade anime. Oh, okay. Witchblade anime, sorry. So I was like, man, this looks like some type of anime. I didn't think it was Witchblade, though. Yeah, so it'll so. tell you here. Look, so it has the page number. It'll tell you what uh, what it's from. So this, for example, let's say this one says Witchblade issue 89, the variant, and the same variant, just pencil art. So that's really cool. Uh, and it kind of, you can see how, kind of how the, the progress of the, of the artist goes from him drawing it in a, in a, in a pencil form you know, he puts a lot of detail to it, and then, you know, you can see, you know, okay, the art, the colorist comes in, uh, do, does the shading, picks the color, all that. That's really cool. So, and like I said, he's he's very, uh, he definitely likes to draw women, you know, so, you know, yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, but he draws, uh, of course, the darkness, and that's really cool. Like, this is, like I'm, I'm, sure, I'm telling you guys, you have to get it just to see it. This is cool, but the pencil, the amount of detail there is in here is insane. Like, I'm seriously looking at this, and, like, this would take so long. And he put out so much work that it's, it's crazy. Um, the Darkness, as well, is one of his big ones. He, 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 they're in the same universe, so they show up a lot together uh, in each other's comic. And um, he has a very particular style. I like it a lot. Um, he did... A, did as well, some uh, drawings for Marvel and DC that we'll get to see. 
But again, the amount of detail, the, the, the way he draws the figures, it's really cool. I like that a lot. It reminds me a lot of Jim Lee. Um, and he did some of the Spawn stuff too. So you can definitely tell that he's very influenced by the Spawn of the 90s with the detail and the lines and the, the sharpness of it. And uh, he, he, you know, did his own uh, style to it, which worked for him, as you can see. He was definitely like the top artist for the, the, the Top Cow uh, publisher. They, all of these are in the same universe and they each had their own series, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's take a look. Cyber Force, I remember this guy. Um, let's see here. So as you can see, this is some of the special features that is it included in it. It, it gives you a letters to uh, or about Mark Silvestri from different uh, writers and, and authors. So you'll see that throughout the whole book. As you can see here, he drew for the Fantastic Four as well. Um, his style is really cool. I, I really like this style. It, it's very modern. It's very detailed. Um, and you can see when it's color pencil, it looks really cool. When it's colored, it looks really cool as well. And let's take a look. He did X-Men as well. So that's, that's as you can see, he was such a good artist. I mean, he's still a good artist that they used him in all of these different uh, publishers just because, you know, the, the detail and the artwork was impressive. This Hulk one is really cool. I wish they would have put this one bigger. Yeah. Because this one is, is so, so yeah, nice. I definitely dig this stuff too. Yeah, this is like the X-Men. Like yeah, like yeah. Cool. That is cool. Uh, let's see what else he has. Wolverine, of course. You know, showing us all those muscles, showing <laughs> us that gluteus max. Hey, man. You know, I'm not, not gay, that's but not America's ass. Yeah. <laughs> got America in here. I'm not gay, but bro, when you got when you got muscles like that, bro, nice butt, no homo. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is here? Let's take a look. X Factor, cool. I wish they would have put blowed up this one, this Wolverine with uh, X Factor. Oh, wait, it's over here <laughs> with X-23. So, yeah, um, he's been drawing for a while. His art his art style is very, very recognizable. Oh, my boy Batman. This is such a nice drawing, guys. Like, you don't, you can't, you can see it, of course, but there's an insane amount of detail in this book that unless you have it in your hands, you won't be able to really appreciate it. And uh, it is so, so nice. I like I like how they have, like, you know, the actual drawing and then who inked it as well. So like this one says Matt Bat Banning. So that's really cool. So it, they give credit to not only the colorist but also the ink, uh, the inker, which is so interesting to learn about. You know, you think, oh, the 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 artist draws it and colors it and all that. No, he doesn't. He gets help so that he can make sure that his vision comes to life, uh, as you can see. And you get to see both of those, the, the start product and the finished product, and it looks amazing. The colors are nice. I like it that they chose this big, uh, you know, this, these big cover like this. This Justice League, or, or let's see. Yeah. yeah, Justice League Cyber Force crossover, really cool. His Superman, as you can see, it looks a lot like Jim Lee, Jim Lee's version of it. Uh, Darkness and Batman, there you go. Also, and let us know if you guys enjoy these art book reviews or art of reviews. We could definitely pick up a lot more and review it and show you guys if you guys want to pick it up, stuff like that. But yeah, let us know. What's in like whatever art of that are in print? Let us know which what you guys want to see. We'll grab it, make a review of it, and then you know you guys can see what's inside. Because we really love doing like portfolios and art ofs and stuff like that. Those are really enjoyable because you know it's just artwork. We don't have to really know the story. We can just show you like what the artwork looks like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Red Sonya, if you know who that is, look, he did spawn for a little bit. That's really cool. And okay, all these letters talking about the artist. It's really. Uh, it's really nice to see that that they appreciate the artist to take the time to not only release a book of his artwork, but also like letters from the authors that he's worked with and the different publishers, uh, and just picking out his best. I mean, I, I would imagine it'd be hard to pick out his best work, yeah. uh, but they did pick some pick out some really good uh, artwork that you get to see. This one's no honor. I didn't know what this one is. This one looks cool though. It's a samurai. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I kind of wish I could make these into posters, you know? Yeah. Like some of them are really nice. Yeah. When we get our, when we expand to the next one, we're gonna have so many posters. Oh, cool! He did one for Wanted too. Look. Oh yeah. Nice. Cool. That is cool. Uh, Hunter Killer. I don't know who that is. Looks really cool though. And we're reaching the end here again. Hunter Killer. And I guess that is the end of it. Uh, and. 
Uh, look, this is uh, from Am Amadala. So look, it's, it's actually a fan commission. That's actually really cool. Oh, a fan did it? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Or no, it's a commission. So oh, they pay oh, him to oh, draw oh, it. Okay, okay. And okay. as you can see, he can he can draw that mm, out of that. That looks just like her. And then, of course, this is more for the uh, gentleman, you know. It's another fan commission. I'm sure they definitely wanted that. Uh, <laughs> but hey, David Lakey. <laughs> Cynthia, stop. Stop judging me, Cynthia. Uh, so yeah, guys, like I said, we have the Mark Silvestri um, art of. This was really cool. I like this a lot. We have the issue one through five of uh, Something's Killing the Children. And then, like you said, let us know. Do you guys want to do this, uh, the... The mystery box, that sounds something like it's fun. I like I like mysteries and I like boxes. Yeah, and he'll he'll pack it himself. You know it. <laughs> you know, you know you don't know this, but I feel all the coming every comment. Oh look at this. I, and then I put it in there. So you get a little bit of love from David. You know? I bring the fashion and I bring the love for all of you guys. And the next one. Congratulations to the OG for winning a twenty five dollar gift card. Just reach out to us, we'll have that out to you right away.